Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for beginner English learners. Ready? Let's get started. A2 English Story by the Sea It had been a very long day. I needed a break from my computer. I put on my boots, coat and hat and went outside. I locked my door. I walked to the end of my drive and said hello to my neighbour, Tom. We chatted about the weather, work and our families. I walked to the end of my street and went into the corner shop. I bought a magazine, a bottle of pop and a bag of crisps. I chatted to the owner of the shop about the news and how he was. He had not been very well, but he was getting better. I left the shop and walked along the busy road. The traffic was very loud. It was rush hour. I walked for ten minutes and then I finally saw it. The sea. I love living close to the seaside. I love the fresh air and walking on the sand. Once I got to the seafront, I sat on my favourite bench. Whenever I need a break, I always visit my bench, have a packet of crisps, drink pop, and read my favourite magazine. I looked out to the sea. It looked beautiful. It was a sunny but cold day. The seagulls were flying in the sky. Families were walking their dogs and fishermen were trying to catch fish off the pier. I sat and ate my crisps and thought about how lucky I was to live in such a lovely place. Once I had finished my crisps, I put the packet in the bin and walked along the pier. It was very windy. When I got to the end, my hat almost flew off. I chatted with the fishermen. They were local men. One of them had brought his son and daughter after school. They loved to spend time on the pier with their dad. I remember when I was a little girl, I would often go fishing with my dad. It was good fun, especially when I caught a big fish. At the end of the pier, I took deep breaths of the salty sea air. Then I turned around and started to walk back towards the beach. I walked along the beach and watched lots of excited dogs run in and out of the cold sea. I decided to take my boots off and paddle in the water. It was icy cold. 
It was a shock at first, but then felt quite nice. I splashed the water around. It was so clear and clean. I walked back up the beach and the sand stuck to my wet feet. I walked up to the wall at the edge of the beach and rubbed the sand off my feet, then put my socks and boots on. I had a big swig of my pop and then made my way back home. I felt much happier. Once I got home, I had a hot bath and read the magazine I had bought at the corner shop. It's a magazine about living at the seaside. I like to read about local shops and events. After a while, I got out of the bath, put my PJs on and watched some TV. As the sun began to set, I went up to my attic, opened the skylight and watched the sun go down over the sea. It looked like a painting. It was so beautiful. I always feel lucky that I am only ever ten minutes away from paradise. Now let's go through some of the beginner and intermediate vocabulary from the story. Bench. Bench. A bench is a seat for two or more people and benches are often found in public places. Rush. Rush. If you are rushing, you are doing something very quickly. Salty. If something is salty, it tastes of salt or includes a lot of salt. Splash. To splash. If water splashes or if you splash it, it falls on or hits something or someone. I see. I see. If something is icy, it is covered in ice or is very cold. Locked. If a door is locked, it is fastened with a lock. Owner. The owner of something is the person to whom it belongs. Packet. A packet is a small container or bag of something. For example, a packet of crisps. It is a small container of crisps. Sand. Sand is very small grains of rock found on beaches and in deserts. Shock. Shock is a sudden, unexpected and usually unpleasant event or experience. Stuck. Stuck. If you are stuck, you are unable to move or perhaps are set in a particular position, place or way of thinking. Whenever. Whenever means every or any time. Almost. Almost means nearly. Chat. To chat is to talk to someone in a friendly, informal way. Crisps. Crisps are mentioned a lot in this story. Crisps are a snack made of potatoes. In America, they call them chips, but chips are something else in England. Decide. 
to decide. To decide is to choose something, especially after thinking carefully about several possibilities. Especially. Especially means very much, or more than usual, or more than other people or things. Fisherman or fisherwoman is someone who catches fish, especially as a job. Fishing is the sport or job of catching fish. Loud, to be loud is to make a lot of noise. Lovely, lovely means pleasant or enjoyable. Lucky. If someone is lucky, they have good things happen to them by chance. Magazine, magazine, a magazine is a type of thin book with large pages that contain articles and photographs. Painting, a painting is a picture which was made using paints. Pop. Pop is a sweet fizzy drink. In American English, this is called soda. Spend, to spend, to spend is to give money as a payment for something. Windy, wind and windy. That is air that is strong enough to be felt. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for ten percent off. See you soon.